So I'm, I'm gonna demonstrate how I use a shade stick, which is pretty important to me. One of the reasons is because trying to match this black with whether it's Higgins Zinc or Mini Man Pelican, uh, I've tried a number of them. I really struggle to find an ink that matches um, the board itself, that particular. And I found the, the easiest way was a um, shade stick. This is really, it's carbon. So this will, this is gonna last me a lifetime. And it's 12B. In the package, uh, in the offering, it comes with a brush and a 2B. And here's exactly how I use it, and more importantly, why I use it. I literally, and I'm done. So it's a dry, but it has, a, you know, you put your finger on it and you'll wind up a lot of carbon on your, on your fingers. So I'm gonna set this aside, and I'm gonna use a little container of water and mix it accordingly. So why am I gonna use this? I'm gonna use it for oops, or I over scratched an area. Maybe I wanna define it a little bit better. There's a million reasons on just touch up. And I do this on a black and white. So when I add, start to add color to the illustration, I'm satisfied with it to then present the color and then just concentrate on the color. So. The oops, in this case, I've got a couple different areas that I want to do a little bit, I don't call it repair, but modify, whether it's in the illustration or I don't like it, or I just want to have more definition. So one is this little tiny area. I've already put a layer on this already. Let it dry, now I'm gonna come back again. That hair simulating the water droplet doesn't belong there. I don't know how it happened. Maybe it was my dog that put it there but I'm gonna take and turn, remove it. So, water. And just let me go over it. And I, you know, if it's still not there or I still see a ghost of it, I can come back and do another one, another coat. So I, I just go slow, so nothing looks out of place like boom. I don't wanna do that. Or if I wanna take out as simple as I don't like the hair right there. I can go in, create the point, take that little hair out. So it could be anything. Maybe I want to go in here and create more of a shadow effect, create more term drama with the illustration. I can do almost a dry, well, not, a, not almost, I could do a dry brush where I just kind of feather things. So there are no mistakes, it's just different versions. But I can be very specific, especially with a number one brush. And you can, I can do also, um, let me reach over here and do something else. This is nothing more than a makeup brush. What I've even done is if I want a whole general area, I'll take a makeup brush and makes up um, the color but even in this particular area, let me show you on, on here how I'd use a, like a wide. Can you see the shadow in here where the sunlight comes down? But all of this is darker, darker, darker. And then there's a few highlights where the sun is peeking past his ear. I can even go in there with a, um, I can do it color, but I can also do just a general area and using a wider brush to go in there and just darking it slightly, depending upon the strength of your um, shadow stick. So many ways to use this, extremely helpful. I recommend it, it's on the website. Happy scratching.